tough it out with this newly, newly nerfed Olimar. Is he going to try and switch to the Rosalina, who isn't as powerful as she was in previous sets? Well, it looks like we're getting the Olimar. We're about to get it. Here we go. Win its quarters. It's not day one pools. It's not a being boozled segment. I tried my hardest, Mike. <laughs> it is top 32. Win its quarters. The winner of this set will be going into winner's side of top eight at Albion 4. Let's get it. You can see already. Yeah, starting I mean, up pretty Super Semi yeah. was just so willing to just sit on the other side of the stage, let the buzz throw his little lads, shoot some stuff at him. I think Get generally both these guys, they just kind of want to use their projectiles. I mean, Olimar's, his entire game is around throwing the Pikmin. And, you know, largely, I know, you know, you, Young League Sword's pretty good, but generally he wants to be throwing things like the boomerang yeah. and the arrow. So in that kind of environment, it's basically just a war of attrition, at least while they, you know, they figure each other out and, you know, work out what kind of reads they're going to go for on each Ooh, other. I do really like Super Semi's play around Pikmin so far. He's been, I mean, he, he's taken a lot of damage, but generally he seems to know exactly which moves are most efficient for removing Pikmin from him, such as neutral air, down tilt, these kind of big meaty hitboxes that stay out for a bit. Mm. We saw oh, just there. Was there to grab? Yeah, that was sick. Ooh. I think we saw just then he got a down tilt super semi. He tried to go for the fair, but you know, as we were kind of mentioning before, all of them are quite small. So getting those really tight, you know, confirms it's gonna be pretty difficult. Yeah, that what we just saw there might be something to take note of. The way that he down air, he bounced off the Pikmin with the down air. An already legendary moment in Smash Ultimate's history is uh, who is it? Uh, oh, I know. What it was Shuton yeah, down yeah, yeah. airing off a Pikmin to recover. Maybe we could see a similar scenario unfold here with Young Link, who has a, a similar lingering down air. Gets the arrow. The arrow, dude. Short hop, auto cancel, arrow. Auto cancel from a short hop. An amazing combo tool. An amazing kill confirm. Young Link's arrows, man. It's some serious stuff. It's pretty much a war of attrition Ooh. at the moment. Oh, it's moving. Wall jump arrow. He's got two purples, though, now. Oh, yeah. there we go. There you have it. He needs to be careful. But a pretty even first stock here. Super Semi certainly playing a really, really good neutral here. I look, look, just strafing away from the Pikmin. No he's need to press forward all the time. He's dancing around Olimar's shield. He's, he's trying to be able to force something. Like, the old adage, I guess, is Young Link kind of can struggle to kill. So we'll see exactly how Super Semi is going to land, you know, the killing, the finishing blow. But so far, the buzz running away with the lead a little bit here. Yeah, he's Big landing all his BNBs, man. And the buzz, I mean, I, I've heard so many players sing his praises over the course of this event. So many people are playing the buzz and just saying, he's just the real deal. You know, like, so many people are expecting to have a, an outburst performance and defeat the buzz and maybe make some kind of upset. And they're just not, it's just not happening. He's just too solid. Yeah. He, he looked, he was on the ropes in the previous set. You know, he, he had a Orion. That was the Whoa. first time, yeah. That's, that was, that was, that was, he was spooked. Oh, okay. Oh, he oh. dropped shield in the upbeat. Semi is getting himself back into it. Comes to tech in place. Nice. Oh. Great snipe with the boomerang. Oh, I think he wants to try and finish it with a, a confirm into a B. Good, aggressive landing there from the buzz using the uh, lingering hitbox of the down air to get down safely. Because uh, Super Semi very much had him at disadvantage there. Oh, I love his ledge coverage. It's quite a, I don't, think, I don't think it gets talked about enough how scary it is to run off the ledge and then run back on with like an aerial. Mm. That actually covers really quite a lot good, of options. Yeah. Especially when you've got a two hit strong forward air like a uh, Youngling does. Right, right, Super Semi's brought this right back. You see the buzz there, fishing for the smash attacks. He wants to end this man's life. But Super Semi staying. Oh, I don't think that was a blue. He's living for now, but that, that up is going to take it. Super Semi's yeah. holding his own so far. I mean, like, and, you know, we talk about the caliber of player that the buzz is, but Super Semi, you know, he, you know, he had a deficit. He's bringing it back. He's still in this. Yeah, and I feel like I'm starting to see what all the hype is about. And it feels to me like, uh, oh, where, uh, where Semi is is excelling most is actually in his patience. Mm. I feel like a lot of people kind of thought Young Link. Oh, you know, shoot arrows, get some confirms, go in, go crazy, go stupid, go crazy. But no, it's actually kind of like just playing the incremental game. That's what's getting this far. Looking for the edge guard, overshoots it a little bit. Just hovering over the buzzer's shield. Oh, he's got the two purples and the red again. Oh, he's ready. <laughs> yeah. He wants to get some big damage here. All right, Semi having to dance around the Pikmin. Great play there from the buzz. Getting the down tilt onto the fair. Good there to avoid the edge guard. The buzz is just all over him, man. Oh, Ooh. an F smash to it. He like, did like a semi wave land back on stage. Oh. Oh, gets the bomb. Still alive. Oh, that was just clinical though. Oh, I thought he was living for a sec, but that, yeah. was, that was clinical from the buzz. He kind of just didn't let Super Semi, you know, there was a chance when Super Semi, oh, maybe he was going to make it back. Just clinical, aerial, aerial, aerial. Yeah. And then the final one was enough. Shouts to both these guys, man. Two of the most wholesome boys I've yeah. had the, the pleasure of. I haven't even met the buzz, but I have watched his uh, little Twitter vlog where he falls off a seesaw. Gold, love it. Hilarious. I love that he's tried Nando's already. Yeah, big, yes. big fan of him having some we Nando's really, chicken. We really do corrupt people over here. They, <laughs> they get here like, they step off the airplane and we're like, get Nando's, listen to Skepta, go to the park. And they do? Yeah, and, and they, they do. do. All right, so the buzz thinking. Sing Oasis in the crowd. <laughs> and so oh, Sally oh, can oh, we, oh, we got, uh, what was it? 
don't look back in anger going during one of Curry G sets. You guys are going to hear some absolutely wild chants in top eight later today. Yeah. You think you've seen a top eight crowd before? No, you haven't. Mm. You just haven't. What's funny is that all the EU crowds, they all respectively think they're like the most loud. So like the French are like, oh, we're oh, the loudest. Yeah. The Germans are like, no, we're the best. Uh, same with the, like the UK crowd are obnoxious. Combine <laughs> them are. all into one just it's absolute terrifying. just cauldron of the support. French is, the French the cauldron of support. I love it. <laughs> uh, we need more cauldrons of support, I think, in, in, our, in our modern society. <laughs> France, the thing about France is that they will pop off over literally anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember last year, Albion, uh, well, you know, I'll talk about it after this game. We're getting into game two here. Here we going go. Back, same matchup. We're going to Kalos. I like this counter bit from Semi, actually. A lot more range to avoid the Pikmin's. You know, I mean, his projectiles have more range than Pikmin do, to put it simply. And it does feel like he was getting a lot of his percent, like I say, out of the incremental game last game. That being said, the buzz has just closed the distance almost immediately. Maybe the buzz recognizes that and he's like, all right, it's time to go a bit more aggro. It kind of looks like it. He's pressing forward quite a lot more. Mm. Pressing forward aerial quite a lot more. It's kind of weird, like, the thing about Olimar is that people look at him and think of him as a generally campy character, but once he gets in, even his simple BMBs do absolutely ridiculous damage. Yeah. Like, he can go from zero, I mean, he's already on 98%, we've barely been playing for 30 seconds, and he's, <laughs> and he's dead! he's dead. And he's dead. I think uh, a lot of people mistake defensive characters for campy characters, like yeah. people call Duck Hunt campy. If you've ever been capped out by Can and Frisbee, you're just bad. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. There's no hey, other way hey, to be hey, bad hey, at He's not a campy hey, character, hey, he's defensive. Whoa. He has projectiles, but he doesn't camp, right? Right, okay. But that being said, I mean, these, these characters are characters that who people would probably describe as defensive, but they're definitely not campy. Look, they're scrapping right now. Well, basically, someone has to kind of make a commitment. You know, if, yeah. it's, if it is that kind of war of attrition, there will be, you know, moments where it's just kind of projectile, projectile. But we've seen so far, like, neither of these guys think that that's the optimal way to play it. They are trying to put on some pressure. Like, projectile characters is all about stage control. It's all about how much time you have or how much space you have to retreat. So if you kind of close the gap on your opponent, that you've, they've got less room to retreat, and you can kind of put on more pressure. And on the subject of stage control, it's got to be said that the, the Buzz's ability to get back to center stage has been impeccable. Like, I don't, I think Semi's got like one ledge trap this whole game, and otherwise the Buzz just picks all the right options every single time. The thing with oh, the Buzz, he, oh, he had the lead, oh. and he just kind of kept snowballing with it. Yeah. Like Semi was trying to find his way back in with like a little hit here and there, but the Buzz, he would land a hit, do another forty percent, mm -hmm. and then he closed it out before Semi could even breathe. I'll give him a chance to. Chance to breathe. Chance and to do well, anything, really. Chance to do anything, really. My word. Lands the neutral air. I think uh, maybe Semi could be looking for a bit more edge guarding now because it's got to be said that both these characters do have very susceptible uh, recoveries. Even with Yon Link having the hitbox, it's not hard to time your, uh, your own hitboxes around it. He does get the neutral air and take the stock, but it's a tall hill to climb. That being said, Yon Link has been up Death Mountain itself before, <laughs> so this should be no issue. This is a little man in a spacesuit. Oh, my word. <laughs> He's fought King Dodongo. Oh, my goodness. Right, I think the buzz knows, like we were saying before, that he has the lead now, so generally he doesn't have to really force anything. He can kind of just whip punish Semi at the moment. Yeah. Oh, nice ledge trap there for the F smash. The lingering hitbox on F smash is so deceptive. You, like, Ooh. it eats out spot dodges. We've seen the buzz do that a few times. Oh, Ooh, that was good. Whistle armor. He could have gone for like an up air for maybe more damage, but Semi wanted to do the back air because he thought he could get another area off the confirm. But yeah. just didn't quite land on the Olimar then. All right, Semi going in a bit more. The hit stun that the Olimar's Pikmin is so, like, it can throw people off so much. It can make true combos, just yeah. not work. Shield stun as well. Yeah. Like, you you kind of let go of shield, but your character doesn't let go of shield. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing you, like, you need. It's almost like you go slower, but the rest of the game, you know, continues as normal. So yeah. it can mean that your true confirms. They can actually leave you vulnerable. All right, Mike. What do you think Super Semi needs to, to do to route a comeback in game three? Because right back. now, this is looking Make like it, it needs to be oh, there. In dear. game three, what does he need to adjust? Oh, it's hard to say, man. I think I don't think, you know, touch wood, he's gonna gonna change character. I think generally he has to almost, he just needs to try and establish a lead somehow. Like yeah. he needs to just kind of get, um, avoid getting grabbed at the low percents for the Airbnbs. Airbnbs? Airbnbs. Airbnbs. <laughs> oh, it's been a long weekend. It's been a long weekend. <laughs> a long weekend. Well, oh. our Airbnb got cancelled, so we have Airbnbs very much on our mind. Oh, I mean, hey, the buzz uh, up smash into up air, that's an aerial. Technically, I would argue that is in fact an Airbnb. That is an Airbnb. The that buzz. is an aerial b, &B. <laughs> can we Can we start calling them air, like <laughs> aerial combos? Please, can we start calling them Airbnbs? Oh, oh the buzz with a sick Airbnb. Oh. <laughs> The Dutch Three crowd. rooms, two beds, <laughs> king size.
up air, up air, up air. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's the thing. Semi, he actually just needs to establish some kind of lead and not get grabbed at early percents, because then he can sort of force, a bit like the Buzz was doing to him last game. Like, the Buzz established a lead really quickly and then just ran with it. I think that's what Semi needs to do, but it's it's easier said than done, A, against Olimar, and B, against a player of the caliber of the Buzz. Yeah, the thing about the Buzz is that, like, you know, it's very nerve-wracking to go against a player of his caliber in the first place, but I feel like, as opposed to going against a player who plays a more aggressive character who's going to light you up, it's actually more nerve-wracking when you have to play the long game against the Buzz. It's mentally exhausting to try and outthink this guy at every step. Mm. It's like if he wants to try and force as... If you're a smarter player or you view yourself as a smarter player, you want to force as many neutral interactions as possible. Yeah. Because chances are you're going to win it. Uh, you know, you're going to win that more often. All right, and this is the thing. He's not able to establish a lead as of yet. Gets the grab. Oh, oh my the God. down air has been so clean. How many down airs has he landed off stage? He's so got far? quite a lot. Yeah, he's been he's been two framing. Uh, he's been down tilting to catch Semi out of his legend vulnerability. Because I think he's been ledge trapping Semi so hard that he feels like he needs to sit there and think. And then the buzz is like, no, I'm not even going to give you time to think, time to breathe, time Trust to do anything, anything really. Really? <laughs> really? Not really. <laughs> That's for the real ones. The real ones will get that one. Oh my. <laughs> oh, the forward oh. air. Oh, he like fell too fast in between the yeah. first two hits. And I think maybe he he hit a Pikmin, which might have messed up his timing in, in regards to hit stun. It's hard to say. It looks very strange. It's similar. It's a similar story to the first game, or the second game, rather. You see the Buzz just uh, holding on to this lead. You know, Semi trying to get something started, going for like a bold F smash. He's like, I'm too old done. I have to make something happen. Yeah. Then misses it, and then the Buzz is like, fine, I'm just going to get an up smash back here. That's another like 30% right there. Okay. Similar again. Again, I mean, oh, but there's the, the neutral air. air. I've seen, uh, you know, generally that, that seems like it's a tool that's used to catch jumps out of shield. And I think Semi absolutely smelled blood in the water there. Like, when you force a character like Olimar in the corner, Olimar's out of shield game, oh. it's okay, but a lot of the time you can expect him to jump. Up throw might actually do it here. Forward throw, fair enough, Semi knows his percents. Right, he's not getting too oh. Oh, He's not getting too many edge guards, so then at that, in that point, he just reverses the situation. It's because the buzz's aggressive options off stage have actually been excellent. Mm. Like, every single time Semi thinks he's gonna edge guard him, the buzz is so patient, he waits for him to commit, and then he's hitting him back with, an, with an aerial of his own. We've seen Semi now trying to... He's, he's trying to find the kill somehow, gets the oh, trade, smash. but he is living. Oh, it's just like my favorite anime, Mike. It's just Which like one? Dragon Ball Which Z. Oh, Dragon it's just Ball like Z. Goku and Freezer on Namek. Talk about but it this, all the time. But this, so he has, to, right, he has to, right, this is it. He has to get something now. Oh, and, and, no. And, and there it was. That. Instant denial from the buzz. And he's basically got a full stock lead. It's a tall order. Yeah. It's a tall order for my man Semi right now. Oh, did, the, did the OP have a weird clank with the Pikmin then? Or is I it just it the Pikmin have. hit? Right. The Buzz, clinical Olimar player right now. This is crazy, man. And he, he doesn't have to report. He just has to, you know, continue controlling space here. Just continue, just forcing Semi to try and make something happen. Yeah. And then just whiff punish. And it's got to be said that Semi hasn't looked bad this set at all. I've actually really been liking a lot of Semi's play. The Buzz is just that. He's that steel sword that's been forged over so many international events, so many huge top eights. And you can see, like, for us, a stage like this oh, is unbelievable. Oh, the exploding time. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go. That He's was, that back. Was sick. That was Let's sick. go, Semi. That was amazing. Uh, the buzz, see, the buzz is smelling blood now. Who's fishing for that roll? Uh -huh. Then doesn't quite get it. Up throw. That's gonna be it. With a blue on deck, a 30 and a handshake and a fist bump, rather. The buzz moving on into winner semis as projected. Great stuff, yeah. man. Semi, as we were saying, he was kind of holding his own, but generally the match.